Magicians keep secrets. I'll tell you some of mine. I juggle and do magic. A one-man pen and teller, kinda. I grew up developing pictures in my mom's dark room. It was another form of magic. I'm an only child who had to play by himself. That's why I love magic. Magic is a way of playing alone. I'm a practicing therapist, and I'm fascinated with perception. Tell me what you see. A rabbit or a duck? Pretty cool, right? I love the trick I'm doing tonight because it combines magic, photography, and optical illusion. Three things I'm passionate about. I'm Tyler Twombly, and I came here to fool. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Tyler Twombly. As a licensed therapist, I've spent years studying how the mind works, thinking about thinking. The human brain evolved to recognize familiar patterns so that we don't have to relearn what something is whenever we encounter it. This ability saves us enormous amounts of energy. Imagine if you had to figure out what a tree was every time you saw one. So tonight, I bring you a facial recognition experiment, which is going to help us understand the magical way our brains gather and process information. I'm gonna be showing you three familiar faces, but the catch is each will be upside down. Can you identify this face? Perhaps it looks familiar. As we rotate it right side up, we see that it is indeed a portrait of me, Tyler. But even with my real face here for easy reference, just turning a portrait upside down forces your brain to work just a little bit harder to do something it normally does really well. Now, our next face may jump out as someone that you know. Ringing any bells? It's me. As we rotate it right side up, we see that it's not quite who we thought it was. The features are there, just not in the correct orientation. But the real brain magic happens here, when we take this face that you now know to be altered, and we turn it back upside down right about there, your brain sort of clicks it into looking like the true Penn Gillette we have with us here today. This strange phenomenon of the mind was discovered way back in the year 1980, when <laughs> Penn and Teller were just getting their start and I, well, was yet to be born. But now that your mind is aware, things are going to be just a little bit weird. Does this third face look like the person you know, or is it truly an imposter? Take a second. As we rotate him right side up, we see that it's not quite Teller, but his vaguely sinister cousin. <laughs> but again, we turn him upside down, and the Teller we know magically returns. The true magician here is your brain as it desperately tries to make sense of what is basically face salad. It sees two eyes, a nose, and a mouth, and it goes, yeah, I've seen one of those before. It's a face, moving on. But your brain jumps ahead, and it makes you see what it assumes you should, not what's actually there, which is an excellent opportunity for a magician. Because remember, at the beginning with my portrait. When we all thought we were just getting started, well, that was part of the experiment too. Because your brain has been showing you what it wants you to see this whole time. I do not recall looking like this a moment ago. Brains are pretty weird, huh? Now, as fun as it is to come on somebody's show and scramble up their face, I didn't think it was very polite. So, let's use a little magic and fix Penn's face. Then we can extend the same courtesy to Teller. Looking good. Thank you. As a thank you for having me on for a second time, I wanted to give you guys a version of my trick that you could use to fool your friends. It includes a portrait of me, 
so you'll always remember what I look like. And no, Allison, I did not forget about you. This custom-made Fool Us card comes complete with your very own Allison Illusion. But this isn't just some normal, boring, regular card. It's a magic trick card that turns a portrait of me into a nice portrait of us together. Oh, but it's upside down. Let me fix that for you. Thank you very much. Tyler Twombly! Whoa. So why do we have this ability to decode scrambled faces? Well, we are used to seeing things in a certain way. Mm -hmm. And when we see the elements of a face, we just kind of make it what we want it to be. So in a way, our brains take shortcuts many shortcuts. We couldn't live without shortcuts. We wouldn't be able to like get up and walk across the street. We'd be paralyzed with all the information that we had to decode and um, sort through. But optical illusions and magic can take advantage of the assumptions that, that we make. That's why I love this. Tyler, let's see if you come face to face with a foolish trophy. Okay. Boys. Hey, Tyler, I, I love this kind of stuff. People want to call it optical illusions, but it's more than that. It's the way we process information. I'm just fascinated by it. And I love the fact that you use the very effect you're explaining. You explain how the trick is done while you're doing the trick. Because one of the things that has to be done in magic is to separate the um, sneaky stuff from when it happens. You're always trying to do your dirty work and then conceal that in time. You can't just do the trick and have it happen or the audience knows it's done that. You are using the very effect you're explaining to separate the time. And that is just brilliant and so bold and so wonderful. And I love some of the science before uh, this, and I may have some of this wrong because I'm not as trained as you are. But there's that whole thing about the neural network overlay that was stolen by, I think it was Dr. Daniel Kahneman's work that stole the, the neural network overlay. But the separation of the time from the event was just brilliant and so bold to say, you're not gonna be able to notice this because your mind can't do it. No, by the way, you're not noticing it because your mind can't do it. it. Was just a brilliant, brilliant idea. And we really liked it and I think I probably uh, snuck in the double talk, something that you know what I'm talking to you about. Uh, and I don't think you fooled us, but I think we thought it was great. So, Tyler, does that scientific double talk mean anything to you? I think it makes sense to me, yes. <laughs> so they figured it out? Yes, yes, uh, they did. <laughs> well, it was a great trick. Thank you, Thank Tyler you so Twombly. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we need to take a quick break, but there's more magic, including a grand finale by Penn and Teller. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> 